Good day. So today I'm back to you again with another shoe review, my second one on this channel, or as you also could say, the first boot review since I'm reviewing the Echo Vitress 2, which as you can see is a Chelsea boot. So the reason why I picked up these boots in the first place was actually that in my wardrobe I have a brown pair of dress shoes and I also have a black pair of Chelsea's already. And I wanted something, blue that was a bit formal, again it's not as formal as, for example, pair of dress shoes but still it looks nice and it fits well with chinos and stuff like that but I will get more into that later on in the video where I talk about what I believe it fits with. Well, of course that's everybody's opinion so it's probably going to be some people disagreeing with that but let's get into the boot itself so as you can see it's made from I don't know if the camera actually picks up on it it's made from a dark blue suede which is called night sky and it's the, it's the color name of it and as you can see, it's entirely suede upper with a textile. The inside is actually a textile lining, so it's not skin all the way through. And has this leather insole actually, just to help you sweat, escape your feet with a bit of cushioning on the bottom. Just to make it a bit more comfortable. Which actually, even though it might not look like it, I don't know if you ever wear Echoes before. Actually, it's quite comfortable just because it has a PU um, outsole which is quite comfortable, it's actually quite a more comfortable sole but it also does result in you having a bit more sole to it it's not as thin as it would be on a lot of other formal um, footwear because it is this more this other material which is called PU but it's more comfortable it's also one of the reasons why I wouldn't say it's really that formal but you still look good in this and you still get compliments, believe me already have gotten a couple even though I only worn like I think I worn like four times actually most of the times to work um, so yeah and how you take care of this boot because well if you have any idea about what suede is you know it's a pain in the ass to take care of that's like the biggest problem with suede as you can see it's actually already awesome dots on it uh, here and here it takes in sunlight really quick so that's why it's important to remember none of this is sponsored um, just use any kind of protector. You can use the one from Echo called Repel. I really like this one. It's a bit expensive, but it's also very good. It actually helps a lot with um, resisting rain. You can probably YouTube a video about it and you can see how good it actually is. If you want to consider this, just spray this on it just so they're more water resistant, also dirt resistant, also so they don't fade as quick in sunlight. Because, well, suede doesn't have a uh, a layer of coloring like for example let's say a dress shoe or a sneaker that's made of leather those have like a, a layer of color over the material which actually means in that case that it's protection that the suede do not have it's also why I'm going to use some to any kind of care product for suede this one is neutral of course if you can find one in this blue color it is preferred since it's going to help a lot more but remember this I'm not going to use any of these products inside just because I don't want to be poisoned. It is quite poisonous if you use it inside. And then of course just something to clean them with. You can use any kind of cleaner. As long again as it is for natural materials like leather or suede. So let's get into some on feature and stuff like that. Uh, while I'm speaking you can see some, some cinematics of them. But... What I would wear these kind of shoes with, it's probably like what is you can see I'm wearing it in the shot right now, some chinos, especially this color, it can be a bit lighter, but also maybe some army green chinos could look good if you have more of a, a toned down upper, you don't want to clash it too much. Um, of course, polos look really nice with it, um, also dress shirts, oxfords, um, um, you can wear the suits as well. Uh, maybe a brown suit or uh, maybe more lightly colored um, Might be like an, a baby blue or real light brown would also look good Don't actually have any of those to show you which is kind of upsetting But those would be two of my recommendations at least um, Of course you could use it with jeans, black pair jeans that would work as well actually Now I'm just thinking about it So. That's that's kind of what my thoughts are on it with it and just in general I think Chelsea's is good for any man like having a pair of Chelsea's just really helps like it helps diversify your wardrobe and well from my experience women really like Chelsea's 
like I work in a shoe store, so you around women all around women all the time. When you try Chelsea's on, like whew, they are like you get compliments and compliments on compliments. So if you don't have any, like like consider it at least I would say. And they are also I they just if you don't want to to it's not your thing to really dress up in suits and all this and, and have dress shoes on. Well, Chelsea it's the good thing about these you can actually dress them down quite easy. Like I know you can dress down um, dress down dress shoes like kind of look like YG, which actually looks quite fly. But I don't think that kind of style would work on me. Like look at me, it wouldn't really work like um, just style wise. I wouldn't feel natural or comfortable in that. But definitely, I would I would recommend a pair of shoes to anybody if it's Echo or somebody else. And these are just a bit more comfortable kind of shoe. Um, yeah, that is. Everything I actually have to say to you about Chelsea's and please I would really love to hear um, Your thoughts in this video like um, how your opinion on how it's done like the structure of it and also now that I implement a bit more Cinematics of the shoes um, to prefer to just meet it uh, prefer to you can just see my face here and just I'm sitting and talking so all the feedback of, of what you thought was good in this video and also what you thought would be could could be done better, what I should implement would be really appreciated. And I hope you you can if you're interested in Chelsea's maybe take this into consideration. They do cost about fourteen hundred Danish crowners and of course just go into on to any website and you can calculate that. And if you are interested in buying them, I think the easiest place to get them would just be on your typical Echo site. Just search for the name you could find them if you feel like this is something for you and until next time keep crushing it